During the final year of the Trump administration, tech executives were dragged before Congress on numerous occasions. Neither the liberals nor the conservatives have a lot of love for the social media platforms, and they're about to be, be regulated. At the center of debate is Section 230 of the 1996 Communications Decency Act. The law protects Internet platforms from being treated as the publishers or speakers of third-party content, except for violations involving criminal activity. The companies themselves are, um, are open to some type of change. Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook has said that we do need some form of regulation. At the same time, they do not want that particular law completely overturned because it puts them at a level of liability that is going to be almost impossible for them to, to, to monitor and manage. During the final months of the Trump administration in separate lawsuits, the U.S. government and dozens of states sued both Facebook and Google for monopolistic behavior. But it could take years and even decades to take on big tech and their big money. If you add all the money that's spent by those companies, you're going to hit about $50 million, you know, for all the big companies, Apple, Fa uh, Facebook, uh, Google, you know, you name it. Just to put this one in perspective, Facebook is one of the top lobbyist tech uh, firms, uh, you know, in Washington, D.C., and they're spending money in a way to protect their business model. Banaf also points out another strategic way tech companies are reaching out to the new administration, goodwill. Amazon offered to leverage its tech and operations to assist in the Biden administration's vaccine distribution. And Google just announced it will open up some of its facilities to serve as vaccination sites. That's their way to say that, you know, we're, we are really opening our doors to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Another problematic issue on the agenda, frosty tech relations with China. I'm not going to put it in the stuff that I'm responsible for. That's the Trump administration's cyber information security officer last year telling a Huawei executive why they banned Huawei products. Bans on Chinese-owned apps, TikTok and WeChat soon followed, leaving all these thorny issues for the Biden administration to resolve. Security analyst Craig Spiesel moderated this cybersecurity event. Whether we like it or not, China is a very strong economic uh, player in the global economy, and a lot of uh, U.S. products companies depend upon and their supply chains. I would anticipate that President Biden will be looking at these issues that are much more pragmatic, fact-based decisions versus what appear to be time emotional responses. On Monday, when asked about Huawei, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said President Biden is firmly committed to making sure Chinese companies cannot misappropriate and misuse American data. When asked about TikTok, she had no information to share, adding she would look to get more.